CD Projekt Red, often at the heart of acquisition rumors, once again, they've come out and have had to clarify their stance. They go on to say independence is the name of the game. While discussions of industry consolidation persist, particularly swirling around talks with Sony PlayStation and the speculated interest from Microsoft, the studio remains resolute in its intention to maintain autonomy. CEO Adam Kaczynski recently reaffirmed the studio's resilience against a hostile takeover, asserting that they've diligently fortified their position against such attempts. He goes on to say, our stance is crystal clear. Bolstered by protective measures ingrained in our statute, we're not seeking absorption into a larger entity. The journey to our current status has been hard earned and we foresee even greater growth and strength in the coming years. While CD Projekt Red remain independent for now, more information has come to light on their next project, codenamed Project Polaris, which many believe is the next iteration of the Witcher series. Polaris, the next installment in the Witcher series, gears up for a significant ramp up in its developmental journey throughout 2024. Kaczynski did reveal that the expansion plans are there in place for the team, planning a surge in devs from the existing 330 team members by up to 400 by mid-2024. That's an extra 70 developers and other colleagues for their business. The anticipation heightens further as the studio sets its sights on Orion, the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, already progressing past its conceptual phase. The core of this project will take root in the new Boston-based studio, Addressing swirling rumors, Kaczynski clarified that the rumored advanced stage of Polaris and imminent release date announcements hold no truth. Learning from past experiences, the studio aims to announce release dates later in the process to ensure a smoother developmental journey, yet early enough to lay the groundwork for a proper marketing campaign for both. Beyond game development, Kaczynski touched upon potential acquisitions and reaffirming their goal is not to amass companies for the sake of financial consolidation. They're not looking to be acquired and they certainly are not acquiring anyone else. CD Projekt Red remains uninterested in either acquiring or being acquired, underscoring their hard earned position as an independent company in the industry. The recent expansion Phantom Liberty for Cyberpunk 2077 marks the latest chapter from the studio. So there you have it. For now, CD Projekt Red remains independent, but for how long? As the industry consolidate, it's surely only a matter of time before a big enough offer is made for CD Projekt Red to be acquired.